Hello, it's Therese from Lost in Paper and I'm here to colour with you. It has been a while since I've had a little time just to create one of these videos for my channel and this Concord and Ninth set which is called Happy Day has been sitting here waiting for me to colour this cake up and it's such a beautiful image I couldn't resist it and it's one of those images I know that the more I colour it the better I'm going to get at colouring it. Does that make sense? You kind of learn an image if you colour it a few times and it, you tend to actually get better results off found. So today's video is the first time that I've coloured this cake so bear with me. I have decided to use my Prismacolor pencils today because that can give me a really sort of a soft effect and that's what I was going for. I was making it look like a big three-tiered sponge. Well, <laughs> not the sponges that I wouldn't look this good if I made it, I don't think. But if my mother made it, it would look amazing. She's a cake decorator and the things that the cakes and designs that she's created over the years have just blown me away. She's amazing. Um, where was I going with that? <laughs> I can't remember now. Okay, Prismacolor pencils, yes. I've had quite a few requests recently to get back to the Prismas and share some cards with you. So that was one of the motivations for using them today as well. So what I'd like to do is add sort of a base color. I want these sponges to be nice and light and airy. So I have left that centerpiece kind of white and then just blended the colors in from the edges. So I've made down my color, used my Gamsol to blend it. I am picking up from the dark to the light. Sometimes I do that the opposite way. I just have to make sure that my blending stump is clean and that's why I keep a piece of paper underneath sort of beside where I'm working and I can just wipe off the blending stump before I start adding the Gamsol to the colors. I do tend to have quite a few blending stumps and that's purely so I can just look at them and use a similar color when I don't have to sort of sharpen them all the way back each time I keep a, like a blending stump for each color at least and they're cheap as chips here anyway so I just buy a pack of whatever and then I've got some to spare but what I really love about Prismacolor pencils is that they are very forgiving so after I've blended it out, I can just come in and keep adding more color and blending it out until I'm happy with the result. And you can come in with an eraser as well if you think you've added too much color. One of the tricks is not to press too hard on the pencils because then it actually gets sort of caught in the tooth of the paper and the paper won't be able to pick up any more color. So start lightly and don't press very heavy on your cardstock and you'll find you'll just be able to keep adding layers and layers and layers of color and depth and until you get the color you want. And you can change and blend the colors too so you can add a color if you're not really happy with it <laughs> just add another color on top until you are happy with it and that seems to work for me as well. <laughs> All right I'm going to leave you with the coloring now. I'll link in the description below to the blog post for this card and that will have all the colors listed um, of the pencils that I've used. I'll be back real soon.
So you may have noticed that I initially stamped out my image. I think I might have used Tuxedo Black and I stamped it in my Misty. What I'm doing here is re-stamping the image and this time I'm using some Onyx Black ink which is a nice sort of dark black pigment ink and that just adds that really awesome outline. And I did fussy cut that out leaving a small whiteboard. I just didn't share that with you today. Right, I've got a die here from Simon Says Stamp and it's called Clustered Leaves. This is an amazing die. Also new to me and not had a chance to use it as well so I'm excited to use it today. I want a partial die cut the actual front of my card so I've taped the die in place and I've just used my normal sandwich but my top plate I'm only holding to where I want the die to cut if that makes sense. I want it to be to the top of the card so I actually held the put the top edge of the die across the where the card folds and that way as I run it through my machine it's only going to cut to where the top plate sat. It's a great trick especially when you've got a large die like this and I'm just using my craft knife to cut away the pieces that are connecting the die cut because I'm actually wanting to remove this out of the front of my card. Ta -da! Then I decided I needed to cut another piece <laughs> out of the bottom front of my card. So I won't show you this, this is just normal die cutting and I'll just run that through the machine and remove, the, isn't this leaf die amazing? I really like it. So now I've got the two die cuts on the front of my card. I'm adding adhesive. I'm working on the reverse side of the front of my, the inside of my card, inside of my card. Am I complicated? It's the inside of the card, Therese. <laughs> I've got the dotted adhesive and just adding that around all the die cut edges. I've cut a piece of, this is an MFT it's from the paper pad called Black and White Basics. This paper pad is so amazing. I bought two of them. Don't tell my husband. But I just worry that they're going to stop making it. <laughs> so I bought a second one. But it's all black and white. Kind of geometric patterns. Nice, bold, white, nice, black, black. Beautiful, fun patterns too. And I've cut a piece the same size as the inside front of my card and I've adhered that inside. So it's kind of like inlaid die cutting but not. <laughs> I've popped up my cake with some nice high foam squares, square dots, is it the foam squares? And then I've heat embossed a sentiment on some black cardstock from the same set. I just used um, some white heat, white heat embossed it so it pops out. I thought if I did any other kind of sentiment they're probably going to get lost. I could just leave it without a sentiment but I thought the black just brought in those black leaves that are in the background. It's another really busy card for me today. I'm making a lot of busy cards lately. <laughs> I'm on a roll and that's the end for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I've had a blast. Till next time, happy paper crafting. Bye.